Right now, we're going to do a transportation problem now in Excel. We went over it in class and we used the greedy heuristic to come up with a just a an arbitrary answer. In some cases, the greedy heuristic will solve to optimality. In other cases, it won't. Excel will always solve to optimality with this size of a problem if it has a solution. Um, we're using an example from Toalong Incorporated. They manufacture trailers. They have plants in three locations, Kansas City, Denver, Raleigh, with capacities listed here. And this is in trailers. Uh, they have warehouses in Birmingham, Milwaukee, Los Angeles, and Seattle with the respective needs here, the demand needs. And also with the f with this example problem, we are given the cost matrix. And in most problems, you should be given all of this information that we have here. Uh, the cost matrix, just to explain that, this value, for instance, is the amount it costs to ship each trailer from Denver to Milwaukee. If you send 100 trailers, it would be $3,000 to ship from Denver to Milwaukee. So that's how the cost matrix works. Now, I've got this spreadsheet model organized as follows, with three main areas. The first area, or the first place that is of importance, is where the objective function is. Here it's a cost function so we want to minimize that cost and we do that by making decisions on how much to ship between the different nodes or the decision variables need to be chosen and solved for. Um, in these blue spots here is just basically to sum the demands that have been met from all of the possible shipments to a location. And here is where we sum all of the products coming out of one location from one plant and we need to make sure that it is less than or equal to the supply that's available from that location. On this line it represents Kansas City. The demand is of course summed here. The next location is the cost matrix. It's listed here again because it's going to be used in the calculation of the cost function. The cost matrix multiplied by the plant shipment matrix, I guess you could call it, that those two multiplied and summed are going to be this cost function. But we're going to go over the functions in this next video.